Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Wade with Wade for Wireless. So, today, I just put out a blog about uh, what is 5G REDCap. For those of you that don't know, REDCap, in this tense, means um, reduced capabilities. And what it is, they're just devices that you put out there for IoT. That's all it is. It's, it's really just 5G solution for IoT. Uh, lower bandwidth. I don't know if you remember, but they had, you know, that was one of the pillars of the foundations, the, the, the triangle thing you see for uh, 5G, and now they're trying to get it out there. What sets it apart than most IoT uh, models is it, it can take video. I talk about all the details in the blog, but I wanted to make you aware of it. Um, it has an uphill battle. It's pretty new the way I see it. It's brand new because the ecosystem just isn't there. They're going to have to figure out how to do devices and also what spectrum they're going to use you know the devices are going to have to be a little smarter than say LoRa WAN. Uh, LoRa is a long range wide area network in the US LoRa is about 902 to 928 megahertz but it's very low data use it's not something you would put a video camera on but anything else it's a very effective solution I know a lot of people have devices deployed on this so I'm, I'm just thinking um, Maybe that would be the way to go. Now, with that said, obviously they're going to push for this. They're going to try to get a national uh, system out in some way. I don't know who, I assume the carriers will do it. I, I don't know if you remember, but Dish was going to do this, right? This was before the, the Sprint takeover by T Mobile. And then Dish, you know, got more spectrum and then they decided to compete with the big boys to be a real carrier. How's that going? <laughs> anyway, I feel bad for uh, the Ericsson sales team on that. I, I tell the story in the blog, wadeforwireless.com, by the way. I tell the story in the blog because can you imagine you win that national deal, you get all the publicity, and then like three months later, the rug's ripped out from under you and they cancel it. <laughs> I mean, oh, dish. I, I get why dish did it. I don't think anyone questions why they did it because now – Suddenly, they had a chance to be a player. They have all their spectrum, plus they got some additional spectrum, plus they got the opportunity to jump in. And T-Mobile was happy, even though they, they're still bickering. But T-Mobile's happy because now they have a um, now they have a new um, uh, they they were able to take over Sprint cleanly and had the SEC's approval and the FCC's approval. So it's good for them. Anyway, Red Cap reduce capabilities. They're probably going to start really pushing this in the next two to three years. I, I, I don't know how 6G is going to play into it. Nobody knows anything about 6G, even if they say they do. So I think what you have to do, just look at this as the next wave. The OEMs are really going to push this because it's something they can sell. The carriers may or may not push it. at and is already heavy into IoT. They have all the foundation there. So it's just what do you do? Because if you think about it, with LTE, we had what, LTEM, and we had uh, narrow band IoT, which was like that same type of thing. Uh, now we have 5G Red Cap, which is really NR light, you know, new radio light, just a light version. But it's, it's a solution. Competitors, like I said, Lower LAN, Sigfox, uh, even BLE. Wi-Fi, you know, there's just so many solutions. And they're already out there, and they have tons of devices, and they're already use case specific. That's another thing 5G is going to have to do. They'll have to become use case specific. So how's that going to go? I guess we'll see, right? All right. Be smart, be safe. Wadeforwireless.com. I also have wadesarver.com. And um, keep in touch. Ask questions. See ya.